The next unit in the course is titled Continuous Time Fourier Transform. In this unit I'll begin by introducing a representation technique for both periodic and aperiodic functions known as the Fourier Transform and present a number of properties of the Fourier Transform. Then we'll see how the Fourier Transform leads naturally to the notion of frequency spectra of functions and we'll also examine how the Fourier Transform relates to linear time invariant systems. Finally, we'll consider several applications of the Fourier transform, including filtering and equalization, circuit analysis, amplitude modulation, and sampling and interpolation. As we saw earlier, Fourier series provide an extremely useful representation for periodic functions. Often, however, we need to be able to deal with functions that are not periodic. Therefore, we need a means for handling aperiodic functions. This motivates the development of a mathematical tool known as the Continuous Time Fourier Transform. Unlike Fourier series, the Fourier Transform can be used to represent both periodic and aperiodic functions. Moreover, the Fourier Transform shares many of the same benefits as Fourier series. For example, the Fourier Transform also leads quite naturally to the notion of frequency spectra and the frequency domain perspective for functions. Also, the Fourier Transform is highly beneficial for working with linear time invariant systems. Since the Fourier transform for aperiodic functions is essentially derived from Fourier series through a limiting process, the Fourier transform has many similarities with Fourier series. Consequently, our knowledge of Fourier series will also be helpful in our study of the Fourier transform.